Hey, it's Dawn from Happy Home and Garden with John and Dawn, and today we are commemorating our 1,000 subscriber mark. We're so excited, Yay! and to oh, hey, <laughs> and to celebrate. <laughs> he was trying to bite me. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this hornworm. <laughs> Not raw, of course, but oh, he's wiggly. <laughs> We're gonna cook them up and we're gonna eat them. And we're gonna tell you a little bit about hornworm too. So stay tuned. Hey, subscribe. Cause, cause you know, we're a small channel and, and we could use subscribers. Yeah. Big worm, small channel. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Ooh, ah. All right, so this little green okay. guy here is a hornworm and he's, uh, he's kind of firm. Well, I'm sure he doesn't like me fondling him. He's kind of like a little green sausage. He, <laughs> he's kind of funny. He's huge though. I mean, look at my finger. Look, look, how, look how big that thing is. Jeez, it's beautiful though. The coloration is amazing. Look at those little colors on there and everything. It's quite beautiful, but very destructive. So over here, we have its poop. And its poop is right there. You can see that right there, a little chunk of poop. So if you see some of that in your plant, chances are this thing is dangling on a leaf somewhere. So over here we have a smaller hornworm. Now this one originally I thought was a giant cluster of hornworm eggs. So I plucked it off and then soon realized, oh no, wait a minute, that's a hornworm with parasitic wasp eggs on it. So I put it over here onto the stem. Yes, it's still alive. So when these eggs hatch, they will hatch a parasitic wasp that will feed on the hornworm. So this is nature doing its job. So if you see this on your plant, definitely leave it alone because this will keep the population of the hornworm down. So here is our little hornworm about a week later. And as you can see, these little eggs have hatched. You can kind of see that little hollow thing right there on the top. The hornworm is very lethargic at the moment. I don't think he's gonna be living much longer, but he's definitely not gonna be eating my tomato plants anymore. So this is nature doing its thing. Look at all those little, see all the little eggs there? All the little caps that have been taken off. Look at that, isn't that really neat? So now back to our regularly scheduled program. And let's see over here, let's, let's see if we can get this guy off. Uh, come on, come on, you don't belong on the plant. Oh, did it just poop? Oh, if you squeeze it, stuff comes out of its bum. Does it work? Oh yeah, see, there's stuff that comes out of its bum. Hey, little guy. Hey, what are you doing to me? Leave me alone. I'm just eating here. No, no, you're not eating my plant. I'm sorry. No, no, you're going to come off. All right, well, I'm going to have to clip him off. All right, Ooh. oh, oh, where'd you go? Oh, no, now he's on the ground. All right, here we go. Yep. We're going in the frying pot, and I'm going to try to eat you. What do you think of that? Oh, look at that cute little face. So last night I made this little habitat for him. That's really funny. I wake up this morning and his head is sticking right here, right where it says wide mouth. <laughs> that kind of funny. I think I'm going to name him Sausage. So it's the end of August and this year we tried a whole bunch of different types of tomatoes. This is a atomic grape tomato. This is a tumbler tomato. This is a Barry's Crazy Cherry tomato. This is amazing. And we got some other random tomatoes here and here. And also we've got some sun-dried tomatoes going on in here. You can see that in there. And we do have a video on that, so I'll link that up in the, the corner over there. With a good tomato harvest, sometimes you get hornworms. And this guy here, he's not going to be eating our plants anymore. I did look online that said that you can fry these up and eat them. I did try to get this off of him, but he's he's not he's not letting go. Yep, you're gonna let go. Oh, you let go of one. Okay, let's see if I can get that off there. Oh, I got that. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna have to cook it with this on it. So you have any last words, hornworm? Don't eat me, don't eat me. Oh well, too late for that. Alright. So here it comes. I'm warning you. If you don't like this kind of stuff, you know where the stop button is. Now I do know that people in third world countries eat bugs, and here in the United States we generally don't do this. But I thought I'd be adventurous and try it. You're still here. I guess you want to see it, huh? Okay. Here we go. Let go. Nope. No. Oh, yeah. You're feeling the heat. You're feeling the heat, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope these things don't cry like lobsters do. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Oh, we got that nice and hot already. Oh, I do need a... Uh, 
Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, he's he's freaking out. He's freaking out. Oh, oh, he's freaking out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, he's in a poop. He's in a poop. Oh, I think I got the heat too high. I guess we're supposed to cook it for like four minutes. Alright, maybe a little bit of more oil, I guess. I don't know. Okay, now you can let go. Oh, he's stiffened right out. Oh, oh, he popped! <laughs> he popped! Ah! Oh, he's still not letting go of that. There we go. Hey, I got that off. I'll turn the heat down. Oh, he's got green goo! Oh, look at the green goo! Ew, green goo! Oh, oh, look at this more. Oh, oh, that's nasty! Okay, let's see. I'm gonna squeeze him from the middle. Hopefully, I'll get all that. That actually, that's a uh, tomato plant. That's our tomato plant coming out of its butt. Apparently, these have good chlorophyll because all they eat is tomato plants. Mmm, doesn't look tasty. He's kind of squishy. It's a little green sausage. I don't know if I want to eat this now. <laughs> what I what I sign up for. <laughs> All the crazy things we do here sometimes on our channel. Do you want to try it, John? Oh, it's getting kind of smoky in here. <laughs> the smoke alarm's going off. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. All right, we gotta go shut that off. We got the whole house fan running right now because this thing is just a smoky mess. This is a, a little uh, hornworm fritter thing. You can see it's kind of, you hear that? It's kind of hollow inside. Oh, it's like a crunchy french fry. Oh, it's hot. All right, I was concerned about its its little feet because, ooh, yeah, see, it's got little sharp feet. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut those off. I'm gonna put this here. One thing about hornworms is they have like these little, little feet. So I'm going to take the little feet off because the feet are like spiky. So I'll cut that off. I don't really like to eat spiky stuff. And then he's got like spiky face or was his face. So I'm going to cut his face off here. And he also had him on his back. So thank you, hornworm, for giving up your life so we may eat you. Amen. Not that we're religious or anything like that, but hey, a good amen doesn't hurt too much once in a while. All right, so ready? Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to eat this, this flattened French fry sausage hornworm. Did I get all the feet off? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of scared. Ready? Oh, tastes like a... Uh, tastes like chicken! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's actually not bad. I saw a thing on the internet that said that you can like fry these up and cook them, so I figured, hey, why not? Hmm. Ooh, it's like a squishy surprise inside. Hmm. Oh, that actually, pretty good. <laughs> I was kind of scared at first. Oh, hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm swallowing it. Hmm. Hmm. Finger looking good. Now I have to you say know? that it's a week after making this video and I feel so empowered that I actually ate that bug. I mean, like I've gotten over this fear. So now I feel like, well, I could eat almost any bug. Um, whoa, I wonder what else is around here that I can eat. Oh, maybe a cricket. Well, I'd have to find it first. Ooh, what about a bumblebee? Nah, they're too beneficial. Ooh, I know. What about a fly? Nah, they eat poop. I don't think I'd want to eat that. Ooh, I know. What about these beetle-looking things that do pollinating? Nah, they're too busy having insects. Get it? Insects? They're having sex with my plants? Yeah. <laughs> I know. And you know, I think I might raise some hornworms in the future because that was legitimately good. Like, I would totally eat that again. Like, a whole bunch on my plate. Like, seriously. No, no joke. I, I would eat that again. So thanks for watching our crazy channel. <laughs> Watch some other videos while you're at it. Hey, subscribe, because you know we're a small channel. So thanks again. Mwah.